do the Knicks actually have a chance to make the like the finals this year? Yeah. Is that the a, finally, a legitimate yeah. chance? The NBA Not the finals. finals. The, the playoffs? playoffs? Oh, the finals. Oh, the finals, no. Finals, no. no. So the hype, the, is, the hype is for nothing. No, the hype is for nothing. No, the hype is for the playoffs. The Knicks have to the playoffs. Hype is for the playoffs. But if you don't get the ring, what's the point of the whole thing? Nah, but the thing is, for, at least I mean, like, teams like the Knicks and the Pelicans, like make well, like not, well, maybe not the Pelicans, because they've been making the playoffs. But teams like the Knicks, who've been borderline almost out of the league because of the talent that they had on the squad, playoffs is a, is a nice, a nice prize. Say that again. I said, if you go, if you go bring up that that question, I, I was about to say yes. What is the point without the rings? So, you know, they bring the rings today, so I, you know, what is the point without the rings? Guys? It don't mean if it, it don't mean a thing if it don't got that ring. <laughs> you know, that's that's a bar. That's More a bar, bar really. <laughs> <Bar's> <laughs> really. <laughs> gotta start. You gotta set. You gotta set the bar with a bar. You know what I mean? When you start the pot. More bars over your head tops. Uh, what's it looking like, people? It's your captain, Captain Sands, aka Pod Gurley. I respect it. I respect it. I do. Um, yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Dami G, aka Double Do Dami. Double Do Dami. Yo, hold on. You might be winning an aka. <laughs> <laughs> Double Do Dami. That was dope. I got, I got nothing for that. You know, two, two, two great AKAs. Yeah, it's your boy LD Way, AKA uh, Hugh Pippen. I mean, you know, I'll take that, take that little right there. Or Huey Pippen. How you want to call it? How you want to call it? What's cracker lagging, people? It's your boy Web D, AKA Samurai Web from Ghost of Shishima. <laughs> we were slicing and dicing the last night. <laughs> we was, we was. Go ahead, dog. Yo, what's good, everybody? Yo, have no fear. You, you know, the detrimental boys is here, and that's a fact. Here to put some flavor in your ear, work to Craig Mack. So just sit back and relax and enjoy our voices from heaven and listen to Ooh. Season 2, Episode 7. Hey. 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 Double Dude Double Dude came with the... Double Dude Dumb. I respect it. That was dope. What's going on? So, yeah. Uh, if you didn't hear them, people, this is season two, episode seven of the Detrimental Podcast. Um, we want to shout out to the listeners, to the watchers of the podcast, the viewers. We really appreciate y'all. Please make sure that you share, subscribe, like, follow, copy, paste, tag, and just spread the word about the Detrimental Podcast. Um, if you enjoy what you see, spread the word. We greatly do appreciate the listeners and the watchers. Shout out to my wife, just for the thrill. Special shout out to my wife. Shout out to her. Y'all have any? We haven't done special shout outs in a while. Y'all have anybody I want to shout out at all? Uh, shout out my moms. Shout out to the moms. Mommy G. Mommy G. Shout out Mommy G. Anybody else? Straight? Yeah, I mean, uh, shout outs. Go ahead, Wayne. Uh, I mean, just shout out to the fans, as always. I got, you know, season two. I said any special shout outs. I mean, special shout out. You know, I'm definitely shout out my wife, of course, because uh, again, you know, she allows us to you know, hide down here in the basement. Allows. You heard that? You know, you know, I, I had to bend the knee. Like, like I said, I had to bend the knee last night. You know, so. I had to bend the knee. Web, anything from you? Yo, man, shout outs to my wife, man. Um, shout out to you know, I mean, like like we, we talked about last week, you know, having a baby soon. So, um, women are women are women are. Magnificent, bro. I'll just say that. Um, I had a birthing class today, and uh, as we talked about last night on 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 PS on on, on the PlayStation thing, I learned a lot. There's a See, lot. To I be told learned. you, you never know what you don't know. <laughs> you 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 was in there. <laughs> you was. <laughs> there was a lot. There was a lot. I mean, like graphics. Some some stuff they, they want us to watch all these videos. I, I'm a squeamish. Let's just not get off the set, but I'm a squeamish. I was let everybody know. Well, so. shout out to y'all. Shout out to uh, <laughs> you know, Mrs. Dawson, and hopefully the birthing class. Hopefully the birthing classes are worth your while. Um, so for anybody who's listening on the day that this episode drops, this episode does drop on April twentieth, aka four twenty. So I do hope that 
whoever is out there listening, you are enjoying uh, whatever legal or illegal libation that you so choose uh, while you're listening to the Detrimental Podcast. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to 420. Uh, you know, everywhere is, is legal damn near everywhere at this point with like at least 25 states, I believe, or less than that or more. I don't know, but it's like... Everybody, everybody except Connecticut. Basically. Connecticut. Basically. But hey, Basically. it's popping up everywhere. I mean, it's popping up everywhere. At this point, you know, what's wrong? Legalize. Like, you know, Bob Marley used to say it all the time. Oh. All right. Yo, then but Sean, then uh, Sean Paul said, legalize it. Got to recognize it again. <laughs> we be, no? I know that one. Yo, I like this. Cap. Cap. Cap always got some. Cap got recap bars. I respect it. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, yes, yeah, so the episode drops on 420. We will be dropping a special 420 playlist, you know, all songs to be enjoyed on 420. And um, so please enjoy. Hope you enjoy your week with the Detrimental Podcast. Uh, truth be told, it's been a rough week It's in, in the U.S., um, in the country. There's been a lot of bad news this week. Um, seems like it's only been bad news this week. You know what I mean? It's, it's been really hard to find positivity in the in the news, let alone stay positive personally so today's pod our sole intention today is we do want to hopefully provide a glimmer of positivity to your week uh amidst all the chaos that's going on so what we want to do right now with this quick cap recap shout out to q for the bars with this quick cap recap first thing we want we 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 want to send our prayers to the people impacted by the events of this past week we we we've decided it would be irresponsible if we didn't acknowledge what's going on just because so many people are struggling with how to uh deal with what's going on so we we want to send our prayers we also then i want to know from you guys what you've been doing to find light you know amidst this darkness and we're going to try to spend the majority of the pod on good news, having some, having some fun. Sound cool? I'm cool with me. So first things first, first thing uh, to acknowledge this week is this month alone, we've already talked about mass shootings, but this month alone, there's already been 45 mass shootings. And the most recent one that we are aware of, uh, because again, there's been 45, but there's only so many that we're made aware of. The, the most recent that we've been made aware of happened in Indianapolis at a FedEx facility where a 19-year-old white American terrorist by the name of Brandon Hole killed eight people. So prayers to the people in Indianapolis, prayers to the people who lost their lives to this coward uh, in Indianapolis. And it's, ter- it's, it's, it's a sad crazy. thing that keeps happening. Yo, it's so unfortunate, yo. It's just, I don't know, man. Something's not, something's not right. We're not doing something right as far as, you know, people coming up today. There's, I mean, we gave him all this technology, but that, I don't know, man. He's a 19-year-old pimple face yo, kid, too. Yeah, yo. He's, it's still, like, bad out here, man. Like, it's bad out here. Um, So, in other, in other, go ahead. He just looked like one of those kids that's getting influenced by something. And he just want to roll it on his own yeah, time. Yeah. Like, that's what it looked like. And that's it. Mean, you know, kid had no guidance. No guidance. Poor influence somewhere. Uh, in other news, racism, police brutality, and cowardice has been rampant all week. Um, the biggest news is, was the killing of Dante Wright by the coward is my word of the day. Um, Kim Potter is a coward who claims to mistakenly... Uh, mistakenly pulled her pistol when she thought it was a taser both seemingly unnecessary but boo to her prayer for prayers for dante wright's family and his child and not too shortly after that a 13 year old in chicago by the name of adam adam toledo was murdered by coward named eric stillman so just a very long week of news. It's very hard to avoid. So we want to send prayers to all of those families, to people who were lost for no reason. Senselessly. Okay. Yep. And now and now the Adam Toledo correct me, the Adam Toledo thing happened a while back, but we the, the information became available. Happened a, a while of- back. I'm not even back. sure how long ago. I'm not even sure how long ago, 
but yeah, it, it happened a while be a while ago before the body cam footage was released. So, and I, you know, a part of what I've been doing to stay above, right, is not reading too much into this stuff because it would make me, it would mess my mood up, right? So even I, you know, I tried to research enough so that I had something to. I, did, I had to make sure I got people's names correctly. You know what I mean? But I didn't dig deep enough to know what the original story was before this body cam footage came out. But the fact that this had not been the story that we were already known, that yeah. it was covered up in some way, is even more maddening. Yeah. It's so. just... I, I mean, I, I don't know. It's, there's just a lot. I mean, you know, like, just gun violence in itself is just becoming a, a much more, it always has been, but man, like a couple of, I mean, what was it? A couple, like last week in Connecticut, there was a shooting in Hartford and a young three-year-old kid got killed. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and the crossfire and stuff like that. So it's just like, um, you know, the things we talked about in the pod before about just common sense gun laws and what Biden did with his, you know, what the Biden administration did with their executive orders and whatnot, it's still not enough. Um, because I think you could put the laws in place, but if people don't adhere to them or, or if as a society, we don't make changes. We're not, we're not going to see any positive growth or whatever from this. Positive so I just change. pray for people. Positive change. I just, I just pray that. Praying for a week with no shootings. How about that? Let's start small. And that's, that's, that shouldn't be a lot to ask for. It shouldn't but be a lot is. to ask for. But it's but a it Apparently, in, this, in the day and time, it's a lot to ask for. You can mistake mm-hmm. a heavy ass gun for a plastic taser. But you know what? Again, I don't go through the training, so I can't really, you know, say much yeah, about but, that. But still, they they gotta know, have like, better. They gotta have better common sense and better judgment, especially in a situation like that where there's really no threat in the situation. If there was a I mean, threat at the, at the point, I don't, I don't, I didn't see a threat, but. You know what? I didn't watch the video. I refuse to. I, didn't I don't want, think, I, didn't I, I, don't think I have to. I didn't watch the video because at the same time, you don't need to watch the video because the same it's always the same thing. Is there a threat going on? Does that person have something in his hand? It's always a no. It's always just them yeah. reacting before we do. So, Well, like, the, the judgment. did you see the video of the cop? He was, like, doing a demonstration. He was like, he was like, this is my handgun. This is my taser. Dominant hand, less dominant hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I was just like, you know, it's not rocket science. I get like the whole, the, I, I, you know, the whole training thing, but like I'm saying to myself, "Come on, lady, that taser is yellow. It's some, yellow. It's, it's not some bright yellow. yellow. I don't we're know. Not always yellow, but, it, but but but, but it's but still it lighter. Have, it's much lighter. It's much lighter and weight. It must have some kind of yellow or some kind of high lit freaking piece of plastic in on the, it or something. In the in the side you put it on is intentional. You know yeah, what I mean? So it's, at the same time, the training is you're showing you're showing your training, and you're showing them still doing the, the exact opposite. Because everybody knows a fight when it's just like military cops when they when before they even go out, they line up and they make sure all their all their equipment are in the right place, proper place. They have to go out there in a proper code and everything. Mm-hmm. So, bro, your gun is probably on your what, right hand side and tasers on your left hand. Don't give me that bullshit. Yeah. Don't worry. Anything you got? Anything down? No, just yeah. So, uh, we'll 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 be we'll be through the heavy news in a minute. Other heavy news, things that's just been hard to avoid. Uh, I added this last minute: the Derek Chauvin trial. I don't know if I'm saying his last name right. I don't care if I'm saying his last name right, but that's been something that's hard to avoid. The 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 trial for the death of George Floyd, the officer who killed George Floyd. That's been hard to avoid. Uh, there was a hopefully soon to be former armor drill sergeant, armor army drill sergeant who assaulted and harassed uh who I learned to find out this kid was and he's mentally ill um who just harassed this kid who this black kid for being in the wrong neighborhood um the the town rallied around this kid but it was hard to watch hard to see hard another headline that was just like come on you know it's already been enough going on this week so Boo to him as well and prayers for the the kid's name. They've only said his name is DeAndre, but boo to that man and um, just prayers to DeAndre's family. And then last but not least, as far as dark news, bad news, hip hop, 
legend to 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 many, I'll say, Black Rob has passed away at the age of fifty one to kidney failure. So mm. just just to cap off the week, it was like you know icing on the t- on top tip of the t- top of the cake. After DMX passed away, somebody said you know somebody made the observation that two of the rappers on Twenty Four Hours to Live died within weeks of each other, and just more more sad news. So prayers to Black Rob's family. That's, you know, that's crazy, bro. I'm over here looking at Black Rob's history. I didn't know he dropped five albums. I, I never knew that. I didn't know that either. So I knew, I, mean, I knew two, I knew two songs. So shame yeah. on me. I need to go do. I need to go do the knowledge now. I do. All right. Yeah, me too. I'm over here, you know, doing more, much research. But you know, it always comes back up. You know, some stuff about Diddy. But you know, it's not. It's not getting too deep into that guy. Oof. So it was damn near impossible to avoid the the bad news this week. But like, what have y'all been doing? You know what I mean to to stay above it all, to find, to find the light amidst the darkness, so to speak. Yeah. What, what, what have, what have y'all been doing to just stay up? Uh, for me, man, I just been uh, in, in the gym. I've been in the gym playing with the kids, man. That's it. Dwayne the pot. I've been watching yeah. the show. It's Catch. a good show. Can Flag we, football yo. coming back. I just had practice today. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be all right. Let me tell you, when he w- first walked in, I could have swore if you, I, I heard the theme song. If you smell, he just came through with the swole. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. They, yeah. they said you've been practicing your uh, people's eyebrow, bro. I had. I had. I had. I had. Oh, shit. I put that shit on loop. Chill. Uh, Webb, what you been doing, bro? Uh, bro, I mean, just... It sounds really sappy, man, but just a lot of, you know, prepping for the, prepping for the baby, man. A lot of, you know... This, that, shopping online, you know, it's just, it's, you know, like amongst all the other crazy we got going on, like this is like that nice little glimmer of happiness for the wife and I, the family and whatnot, to be able to have this, um, to not distract, but really to take our focus, to, to channel our energy somewhere different. So, good, good, happy you have that. How about you, Hugh? You've been in the yard and in the kitchen. Bruh. In the yard, is it? Yo, if you come down, down, yeah. down when you come back, when you come, when you go outside, to take a look. The work I've been putting. No, no, I peep. No, I peep when I was looking the in. Work. I said, "Okay, wait." I said, I said "Okay." Back hurt. I respect it. Just bro. staying busy. So, bro, my yard look, my yard look like a my yard look like a map, bro. That's how that's how many patches in the yard. Bro. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Yeah. Got plenty of work to do. Keep you busy. Ah, Keep you focused, yeah, you right, good, bro? Good. You know, I'm out there listening to the tunes, listening to the pod. You know, aka what you, what you, should, everybody else should be doing. You know, other than that, I've been just chill. Just chill. Just stay focused. I hear it. Yeah, I've been back in the gym too. I went back to the gym last week, and um, I know I said months ago I was back in the gym. That lasted only a couple of weeks. I know, booty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm back. But at I'm least back. you in the gym, though. At, 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 at least you in the gym. I mean, I'm back. You know. I mean, I, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna put a pool in to see how long cap cap lasts. Put up a pole, bro. Put this, up a pole. Because this is this is the this is the trend. If people know who cap, this is the trend. He he starts going like, all right, yay from Ireland. You know, cap getting back. And then it's like, bro, what happened? Like, ah. I go hard for like a month, and then I'm like, ah, I don't want to go again. Um, Cat like donuts. Cat like donuts. But even in even in the gym, though, like while while the workout was good, you know, what I mean, doing on the 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 cardio machines, they got all the TVs, and all the TVs is showing all the stuff that I was just talking about. The they got the whole trial. They keep mm-hmm. the the they. I swear, they played the entire video, Adam Toledo. Like back to back to back to back on loop, like up until like the point where he's like this with his hands up. So it's like even at the gym, it was hard to avoid. But going to the gym has been what I've been doing to to try to stay, just keep 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 spirits lifted and, and those endorphins moving in the right direction. Um, so I'm around for the gym right now, but I want to know what else y'all are around. For. Are you around? Are you around? Are you around? Are you around? Let's get the good news going. You know. Again, prayers to everybody who has been negatively impacted by the events of last week. Now, there has been some positivity, some more interesting, less detrimental occurrences that have occurred this week. One of which is a new TV show by Jamie Foxx on Netflix called Dad Stop Embarrassing Me. Are y'all around for Jamie Foxx on, on Netflix? Have you watched it yet or 
Do you want to watch it? Wayne, you made a face. Hugh, you made a face. I got to call you I'm out first. Thinking, I'm, just thinking, I'm just thinking about the return of Jamie Foxx, you know, like, to a sitcom, basically, or, or a series. It's been like, how long, bro? You know, I, you know, Jamie, the Jamie Foxx show was, I would say, in the top 10. I would say. In, in top 10 of what, just black TV shows? Yeah, black TV shows. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you know, you think, ah, my, uh, it's up there though. It's up there. It's gotta it's be up, up there. there. I don't I mean, know. I have to see a list. Top fifteen. Yeah. Top fifteen. Top fifteen. All right. Just throw it out there. Just throw it out there. All right. We'll make one of those this one day. But uh, I'm just saying, him back. In, him back after you know his like he performs in movies. Like he's a top notch actor in movies. I'm gonna save that for later. But but yeah, you know, go on. So have you seen it? Are you gonna watch it? I'm gonna watch it. I'm definitely gonna watch it because you know I'm always around for for Netflix binges. I, I don't like. I, I don't like. Sure. We, we think, right? Yeah, Dami G, you checked it out already, right? Yeah, it's funny. No, no, it's already out. One shot. It's not Netflix. I know, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm around for binging. I don't oh, like the yeah, I don't I like the weekly. Yeah, see me next good. Tuesday at eight o'clock. Nah, bro, I want I want to see everything right now. So, Dom, you watch it? Are you around? Oh, I'm definitely around. Yo, it's funny. Like, and you know, <laughs> it puts it everything in perspective. And like, it, <laughs> yo, it's just like the whole difference of, you know, of, it's like today's parents. It's really, yeah. So, it's just it's it's. Yeah, if you're a parent, this is what you should watch. And even if you're not, like you know, it's it's funny because it, so uh, it's it's family it's family fun. Yeah, it's family fun, but it's that's just funny. All right, yeah, bro. Web, what about you, bro? You around? I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, uh, maybe, I, I, like a strong maybe. Why for, does uh, Jamie Fox only get a maybe from you? Jamie only gets to maybe because like I feel like the Jamie Foxx show was the bee's knees, bro. Like that was the that was the that that was the TV show back. You scared me. I didn't know what you was gonna say. You scared me. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't expect you to say bee's knees, but uh, you know, bee's knees (laughs) definitely threw me off. You know what I'm saying? But take it over this. So go ahead, go ahead. Nah, I mean, so like, like that was one of my favorite shows, and I think it it was great because Jamie Foxx was younger. He was still hungry. You know, and then I think those like those those sitcoms from our back from back in the days, like Family Matters and, you know, you know, um, my wife and kids and those kinds of TV shows were great because, like, you could really sit down and, sit down and enjoy that kind of stuff. I don't know if now Jimmy Fox doing this in, in the second rendition of it is going to be super cheesy, but I have to give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because he's already famous. He's already made it. He's, I don't know, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, I watched one episode last night, and it was good. I'll I'll, I'll say I'm definitely going to go back for more episodes. It's it is a more family centered show, but it has it has it has those adult elements that we didn't realize was in shows when we were kids. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Like it's a family show, but it has those adult jokes in it. Like they was in the kitchen getting on. Yeah, like the first episode, and I was like, "Hold up!" Like, so it, it's it's a pretty it's it's a good show, I think, just because yes, Jamie Fox has made it. You no, know, he's not as hungry anymore, but he's still as funny as he's always been. Yeah, no matter how hungry or confident it comes across, and it's 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 a good show. So you so I'm I'm gonna keep watching it. You should check Again, it. Again, this comes back up to that Jamie Fox versus Will Smith because the talent, the talent, the talent. You see talent, that, bro. I'm just, I'm, no, no shots at nobody. No shots. Don't no me. shots. Not yet. Um, so speaking of shots, not even really shots, but violence. Mortal Kombat is dropping on April 23rd. So shout out to just the Mortal Kombat <laughs> franchise. It's coming on April 23rd, I believe, to HBO Max. Correct, Hugh? Of course. Of course. Is are HBO you Max Hall of Fame? Who are you? I, okay, I'm not even going to ask if you're around. Only person I'm not sure is only person that I'm unsure of being around is Webb. But f- so my yeah, question you know for that. my yeah. question for Hugh and Dom is who are you most looking forward to seeing in the movie? So essentially, who's your favorite Mortal Kombat character that you're looking forward to seeing in this rendition? So for me, I do want to see Scorpion and Sub Zero. I do. I love them always. But I don't know if Johnny Cage is in it. No, That's why. That's that's my guy. I, I love Johnny Cage. I don't know. He was he was cool. He was He's not guy. in the movie, bro. I checked the whole. I checked online and everything, what? yo. Out of everybody, Johnny Cage is not, not in Johnny the Cage. movie, bro. I was and hurt. I was hurt. Liu Kang. Liu Kang is in a movie. You know the rest of it is just Johnny. Not. Who are you looking forward to see, Hugh? I just want to see the play out of this movie because I definitely got the the first two on on DVD, 
And I'm like, it's going to be graphic. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to see how the graphics is. I really want to just see how they just make the storyline because you know every yeah. all the movies have been coming out lately from HBO Max. They just like they, they swing it, except you know, except for one Woman. I can I can finally admit that I'm still hurt about that one. But still, other than Which that, one, what are you talking about? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Oh, one. that was trash. I was hurt. You know, after after watching it, after watching it the second time, I had, I had to like cap was right. So I, <laughs> I never want to admit it. So I was thinking that. Up, so well, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Jackson Briggs. <laughs> Bruh, Even I though he get his right. arms, he get his he get his arms ripped off to get his to get the metal arms, but it's, that's that's fine. Everybody has an origin story. But what like about that. but what about the what about the porno mustache, right? He definitely got the the nineties black porno mustache, right? He do. Listen, everybody can't pull it off. <laughs> everybody can't pull off straight stash. So, question of the of the of the afternoon right now, Web, are you around for the Mortal Kombat movie? Were you a Mortal Kombat? Are you? Yeah. Do you care? Like I'm, I'm so, I, I really don't know. So as a kid, absolutely. Can't play Tekken. I definitely fell off. I mean, like so, like so. The thing is, like, like I, I fell off with Mortal Kombat and X Men, and then when Marvel came out, Marvel just hit the streets like no other, and then I just started watching a lot of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to like staying up with the other kind of comic book. You well, know, in Mortal Kombat's defense, there hasn't been anything to watch. It's just been the video game. Yeah, so like now I haven't been playing the video game. Um, no, I'm not around. I'm not. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really trying to be around for Mortal Kombat right Bro, now. Yo, I can't, Even you know, just, it's, it's yeah. just an action movie at the end of the day. You don't like action yeah, movies? Yo, he not I love action movies. Is. I think part of what it is, man, is like, because it, it's still, it's, it's 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 so fake that it's like there's no real no no real no realist no no like realism to it. I I, I mean I don't know. Uh, people like right. action movies yeah, like you I, know like um Born Identity or um any like even the Marvel just even though they're still kind of like animated fake. There's still like that realness kind of. There's no it, realness to Marvel. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I don't, now, know. I don't I respect. Don't know. Know. I don't know. I mean, like, what's up right now? Wait, wait, wait. I mean, other than okay. Hold up. You know, I can say the one thing. Other than you know, you know, some other stuff. Only the only thing that's realistic is like the places that it's filmed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like it's like real. It's, it's filmed yeah. in outer space too. Yeah. So let's but it's, yeah, but like it brings it brings to play like aliens and stuff like that. Like Mortal Kombat is like I'm I'm still confused as to like are these motherfuckers zombies or like what like I I have to I have to I have to learn I have to I have to do All my right. own education. You know yeah, what? I might do, not do be. Do your Googles. Do Yo, your Googles. I gotta do my Googles Yo, on the Mortal Kombat. I'm just not sure about. This, Fans and people don't invite Web over for no like movie nights or anything like that. He's just not around. <laughs> not if you show Mortal Kombat. <laughs> He's just not around. You know, probably show I'm be like, so confused. Oh, no, the color wow, purple or something wow. like Diamond <laughs> Daisy Roots. I'm pretty sure he's around. Roots. For roots. Definitely around. Yo, I'm. Yo, you know what I'm around for? A, 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 a sturdy, a sturdy documentary. No, sturdy I think he's documentary. Just a sturdy. Who describes the documentary as sturdy? Sturdy. <laughs> you lucky I don't got the bro. What? I don't got the the, the <laughs> that queued up. You lucky. Anywho, so the last thing I want to know if y'all are around for is young Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks is Tom Hanks's son. Chetty Hanks. He may be known as. I believe. I I, I think I might have even heard him call himself Young Chank. I'm not sure, uh, but Chet Hanks. Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> I just got it, though. Patua, uh, Patua aficionado. His Patua is, 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 he's got a better grade than me and Webb, I think. He put out a song called White Boy Summer. I wanted to put the clip of the song. I wanted to put, play the song on here, but I didn't want to, you know, mess up our YouTube situation. You know what I mean? Shout out to <laughs> YouTube. Shout out people on YouTube. Uh, so are y'all around for, for, for White Boy Summer? Chet Hanks? Webb? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I'm, yeah, nah, well, I'm with you and this a hell no. <laughs> you know, I mean, right, I, you know, um, hold on. I mean, Chet, after everything we've been through, January 6th and all the stuff that we got going on, I don't know if you want to have a song on here called White Boy Summer. Let's just. True. I'm just saying. Not wrong. Not wrong. It, it, it is it is 
very poor timing for a song called White Boy Summer. You know, I mean, uh, Slow time. but at the same time, it's like, I'm just not a huge fan of like the, the, the appropriation, if I'm using the proper terminology, appropriation of our culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to, it's cool to kind of get down with being black and all this stuff until like you really got to be black and deal with the shit that black people got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like it's my privilege, my privilege as a black person to be able to listen to what I want to listen to and talk the way I want to talk. It's not your privilege to have that and then to walk away when it's like not all cool. So I, I that's my little soapbox. I'm going to step up off that because I feel like a lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. And it's just like, it's annoying. It's, it's, it's unfair. Yeah. Tommy G, you around? I'm not around. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. I'm not around. Just, uh, all right. Wait, uh, wait, Q, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna listen. Ah, uh, uh, I don't, don't like the, the curiosity in me. I just want to listen. So you didn't listen to it yet? No, I didn't get to listen to it yet. I'm oh, gonna, so I'm gonna right, listen so, to it, but I will. I will. I actually listened to it, and if you ignore the fact that it's a no, man no, named Ch- Chetty Hanks. Because I was, gonna, right. I was gonna get to that point. I was gonna get to that point because in all honesty, other than like um his power episodes that he was on, like I, I seen his freestyles on like YouTube and other stuff and like, Instagram, like he's not bad. Like I'm not gonna say he's terrible, like he's not bad. Right? So He's not bad. Like it sounds like Tyga Ghost I'll, wrote the song, listen, but it's it's all I'll right. I'll give it. I'll give it one more listen, and then we'll see. But Dom, it's Dom, all right. Dom heard him, come, like, with, Dom heard him no, come with the yeah, and he was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the song. <laughs> the yeah didn't get him. You know that that first yeah. The, uh, that, that, yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's important, bro. That first that first ad lib sound effect. Whatever you say to, if Ross didn't have the grunt, where would he be now? <laughs> Basically. If Rick Ross didn't have the, oh, where would he be now? No, like seriously, that was a big part of his career. If he didn't have that, where would he be right now? I mean, shoot, where would X be without the barking? Also, where, true. where would Hope be without the? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 where would Wayne be without the lighter? Where would Lil Wayne? See, that's that's see, that's important. See, that's why I never blew up. Feel me? Because I don't know what my, I don't have a, I don't have a thing. I mean, I gotta figure I don't out what have my a thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure out what my thing is. Uh, anywho, so Chet Hanks, I, I I don't respect it for the same reason as Webb yeah. because I know how this man grew. I I can I, I think I can make an assumption of how he grew up and be pretty accurate. You're Tom Hanks' son. son. <laughs> you straight. You do not live that life, bro. None of it. None of it. You Yo. don't. You don't know nothing about nothing about nothing. You just have had the means to dive as deep as you've wanted into this culture because you've had the funds to do so. Right, because listen, your pops made Forrest Gump. We know where the money came from. We know where life came from. Because his pops is Tom Hanks and he's Hall of Fame and he is the white goat off the strength, I gotta respect it. But speaking of Tom Hanks, I wanna know who knew. Who knew? So, who won the last who knew? Is it Dom? This is a valid yes. Right? No, it was actually uh, Hugh. No, what? Yeah. It was. It was. It was. It was Hugh. Oh, okay. I think. I, I don't know. I thought, no, I thought it was what. I thought it was what, but I, I'll take it, it was a three parter. So Roll I don't. The know. Tape. So we'll I'll just. Take <laughs> I'll take it. Let me, let me safe know. to us. Safe to assume, Dom. I'm gonna go Dom. Uh, uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't respect it. I don't respect it. Uh, wow, well, that's that just. It actually, no. Well, it was. It that. was. It, it was the Krispy Kreme question. Is the Krispy Kreme question, and Dom got it right. So it was. Oh, yeah, he did. He so. Did. I want to know who knew what year was Tom Hanks's highest grossing film released. I can't tell you what movie it was. I just want you. To, I just want you to tell me what year did Tom Hanks's highest grossing movie release. I don't know when he started. I didn't look that far. So, Dami G, what year was Tom Hanks's? Hall of Fame year. You know, it's crazy, Dom. I'm not to put no pressure on you, but you know how many movies he had that was so Hall of Fame? So <laughs> many Hall of Fame. That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. I don't, don't want to do that to you, Dom. I'm just saying there's a little pressure. Uh, you, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. 1996. 
1996. Webb. 2002. 2002. Hugh. 1999. That was a good year. 1999. You're going to be surprised because I was surprised. Tom Hanks' highest grossing film was over one Billy, first of all. So shout out to the white guy. <laughs> over one Billy, and it was actually 2019 for Toy Story 4. Who knew? Who knew? I was thinking Castaway. So that That's Web, crazy, right? That, means, that is Toy Story 4. Castaway. So that means Web 1 because he was the closest, basically. Because yeah. so Web 1. Uh, <sighs> I don't the know. The proximity, you know, sometimes the proximity, I don't know. You know, it's if y'all want to give it to him, y'all give it to him. We're going to move on. He got it. He got it. But over Forest, though? No, he got it. Over Forest? Over Forest. Well, Toy, just, Story, like, Toy Story is Hall of Fame, though. Like, Toy Story is Hall of Fame. Like, Toy Story, I mean, you know, and Toy Story will make you cry, bro. I'm not going to lie. Web, 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 bro. He, that last Toy Story, man? So, Tom Hanks is the white goat. As we've promised, we would we need to discuss who is the black goat. Tom Hanks is, for me, no arguing. I don't care what you say about no Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, uh, Tom Cruise, none of that. Tom Hanks is the white goat. So, I want to know who for y'all is the black goat. We've talked about a lot of black actors who are goats, but who is your, who is your goat? And I think we should, I think it's important that we distinguish of our time, not of all time of our time, because I feel like there's going to be people we don't really acknowledge because they don't really fit into our 30 year, you know, scope of reference. Right. So who is, your black goat web. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Yo, no, no. I, was, I, um, I thought you were going to go straight Morgan. I thought you were going to go Morgan Freeman. Joke. Yeah, no. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought he was going to shoot himself. Nah. Morgan Freeman joke. That would have been, been more classic. But that was nah. Um, nah, all, all jokes aside, my personal goat is Denzel Washington. Why? Because... He can be a gangster. He can be a poor man. He can be, hold up. He could be an action, like a like a, a straight up killer. And he could and he could educate the crap out of you and, like he did in Great Debaters. Like, I remember watching that in school. Wiley College. Bro. Wiley College. Holla at me. Like the, the school was named after me. It was. Simmer down. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't. All right. I'm. I'm. I don't. I'm not gonna argue whether or not he deserves to be there, nor will I argue your argument. I think you make a a, a solid rationalization. So, uh, I training that. day, training day, bro. I watched that for, like most recently. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame performance. Doesn't seem like anybody else disagrees with you. And uh, uh, I do. I have someone. Uh, I think Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel Jackson's your goat. Yeah, like because he, he does everything as well. Like he's like in King Kong. Like I forgot I watched it the other day. I seen him. I'm like, dude, you everything. Like <laughs> it's crazy. Like I see him in mad movies. Like he's he's so active. Like he he works, and you know, and I and I respect it. He's in every movie. Like it's it's crazy. He is in every big movie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, he is. So you, that's why. He, that's why. So I'm with Dom. Because Sam Jackson is the man. Also, he is Nick Fury, so he is the Marvel. He is the head of Marvel. I mean, too. so that's my guy right there. But yo, also, I'm over here looking at all the movies that he has been in. I'm not gonna count them because, bruh, New Jack City, <laughs> right? Bruh, he's been in a lot. Yo, you know it's crazy. He was in the Godfather movie. Did you know that? Samuel Jackson. Yep. So he's right here. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. I, right. I didn't. You're right. Right. He was in some movie. He got bodied early. He they bodied Samuel movie. early in one of the, those uh, mafia movies. I forget which mm-hmm. one. But anyways, who, who's who's your black goat, Hugh? I just told you, Sam Jackson. Bro. Sam, oh, both of y'all got Sam Jackson, bro. Yo, Sam is, is he's Nick Fury. Yo, you know, yeah, yeah, he's the goat. No. Quick, quick Marvel history. Do you know Nick Fury was originally white, right? Until he changed the character. Didn't know that. Um, what year? Oh no! Oh, no. You know. And then they picked. And you know who? <laughs> And they had and they had old Marvel movies before before the, the great ones like this. And was it David Hugh? No, that dude David Hasselhoff was Nick Fury. 
Yes. Uh-huh. David Hasselhoff. Okay. That's why for Samuel Jackson to take a role like that, that's dope. But other than that, he he's just flexible. He's a flexible. He's funny. He's serious. He has some like some really deep movies. One eighty seven has to be one of the craziest movies I ever seen. He shot one eighty seven. He got range. He's, he's got range. Shaft. He was yeah, he but was, yeah. He was shaft. Bro, like, he was shaft. He was got range. Ah, I, you know what? I didn't I didn't come prepared with I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide I couldn't decide who I thought was the best versus who maybe deserved to be the best versus maybe I just want to come up here and argue with y'all. I couldn't decide. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like so I don't disagree. I I, I I I like the reasons you all laid out for Samuel L. Jackson. I hadn't considered before. I think his range is a little wider than Denzel's because he can get that comedy off. He hasn't done dramatic in a while, but he can get the dramatic off too, you know? So if I had to pick, because I've already slandered Denzel enough, I'm going to go Samuel L. But because I said our time i'm also i gotta keep will smith in there i have to as much as i dislike him now i gotta keep will smith in there because his range is just as broad if not broader as much as he's had some corny movies over the last couple years i i gotta i might have to say will smith bro like he has just as much range he's just as awarded he's i mean fresh prince hall of fame but samuel was like a thousand years old and she's still like and, and he fought snakes on a plane, bro. Yeah, like how you gonna? I mean, Will Smith fought aliens. He did five times, bro. So, so, did, so did <laughs> three men in blacks. Yeah, after <laughs> Earth. <laughs> and uh, uh, what's the uh Independence Day? So, mm. so did Samuel Jackson in the Marvel movies. What's good? I play with. I play with. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> You know, so like was Samuel Jackson the coach and Coach Carter? He was. And he yeah. was the coach and Coach Carter. Listen. He was the coach right, and Coach I'm Carter. I'm going to give it to Samuel Jackson. And you can't. Wait, time out, time out, time out. What are you afraid Hold of, up. son? What are you afraid of? Denzel, yeah. Denzel, but Denzel Washington was the father and he got game. You ever seen he got I game? He was I also the coach in, uh, remember the Titans. Titans. Remember the Titans. Remember the that Titans. Was a great... Carter. Remember the Titans g- gets the dub. Remember the Titans always gets yeah. the dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna. I mean, yo, I mean, have you ever seen Antoine <laughs> Fisher? You, you ever seen Antoine Fisher? So, left side, uh, left side, strong side. You can give it to Denzel for the level of movie. I, I don't know if I'm using the right word, but you can give it to Denzel for the acclaim of his movies. Yes, remember the Titans is a more is a better movie than coach Carter, but that's why it's, you know, it depends on the criteria for who's to go and which criteria. So for, for range, giving it to Samuel Jackson for box office films, you got to give it to Denzel. And we, I, I think that's, I mean, yeah, hey, exactly. Hey, hey. I mean, yeah, hey. Hey, God. but listen, I mean, let's move on. American gangster. Let's move Bumpy on. Johnson. He was in Pulp Fiction, Samuel Jackson. Never seen it. Never seen Pulp Fiction. What? Yo, you gotta, yo, we gotta like pause it, bring back that button. Right, it's something. I've like. never seen Pulp Fiction. And, wow. and like, I probably wow. won't ever watch it because if you try to watch it now, the graphics are gonna be trash. It don't matter. It don't matter. You have to watch every Quentin Tarantino movie because they're all great yes. movies. And you're gonna understand why I value production so much because his junks is super artsy. But we're gonna move on. That was Black Goats. There is another person out there who has potential to be, he is a Black Goat in his own right, but he just needs to simmer down a lot because he's messing up, I think, just his, he, he I, I, I personally think he has potential to mess up his legacy. He needs to simmer down. I'm going to leave it to Dami G to let you know, to let you know what I'm talking about. Simmer down. Listen, on the court, you cannot stop him. But off the court, you could you could touch his heart. Like I don't understand. He needs to <laughs> like he needs to simmer it down. You know he 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 gets so emotional. What are you talking about, Don? I'm talking about Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, and he's he's so emotional. You know what I mean? And it's just like, bro, like you gotta relax. So, but I understand, like 
you know, defending yourself. But I don't know, man. I just think, he, you know, he already has his rings. Just like, just chill. What, was that like? what did like, he just? What did he just do? What did he do? Well, well, because he was over here uh, going back and forth with with Shannon Sharp on Twitter. You know, they were going back and forth talking talking junk to each other, and you know, Shannon Sharp was like, oh, "I don't want to talk about this on Twitter. We talk on my show if you want to talk." So. You want to talk like a man, but you know KD want to you know sign so, everybody so, DMs. So I guess my question to y'all is, how do y'all feel about Kevin Durant talking, going back and forth with Shannon Sharp? I think he only proved Webb's point. I, I'm, you know, I mean, like back when he left Oklahoma City, went to a seven three and nine Golden State Warriors team, and everybody in the world was calling him Cupcake. He's only living up to the name, bro. And like that's not saying cupcake like you know talking about him like he you know soft. It's just like I think it's just it's for some reason. Like I said last last time we talked about it, he's the kid when you was on the court and you did something wrong or they didn't get picked or they got picked last. They take my ball and going home or I'm calling my brother. That was Kevin Durant. We all know those kids. He's too sensitive. He definitely got an older brother too. It looks real thuggish, so I believe it. <laughs> and Shannon Sharp and Shannon Sharp will body him. Body. Off the hand dog. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Anything give is possible. Bro, give O'Shea Sharp some henny and a black, and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yo, KD about to get the henny hands? You don't want the henny the, hands. The henny hands. <laughs> you don't want the henny hands. Oh, we might yeah. have to make a song. We might have to make a song called Henny. Yo, Q, we might have to make a song called Henny Hands, bro. I have to, bro. Henny don't hands, bump into bro. me while I'm doing my dance because I got the Henny Hands. I don't know. I, I don't got the beat. That was it. <laughs> don't. I mean, It'll be better than that. It'll I be better than that, rock, I promise. I might have to rock with that. That was hard. Henny Hands. That. That's c- coming coming soon, Henny Hands, uh, from Hugh and Jackson Briggs. Now, um, executively, executively produced by Web D. I don't know about that. We have to talk about it. I will definitely about. be Diddy in the background, dancing in the video. So KD needs to continue to simmer down, Cash correct? Sweating He's sweating already. In the video. Yes, absolutely. So- Damn, KD and his Twitter fingers, man. It's it's he should be embarrassed. I hope one day he will learn to be embarrassed. I think I don't know. I, I just think he needs to or just simmer just, down. As, as just bo- better, just ball out. Just ball. Yeah, yo, he's better than the negative comments. So like it doesn't matter. Like you like just don't don't let them affect you like that. Man, yeah. Like he's better than the comment. Like anything anybody say about him on the court, he's you know what I mean? He's everything. He he plays both sides of the ball, everything. So man has too much pride. That's what let it that is. go, man. Just live man, your life. Look, again, remember, he else. just had this whole incident with this dude, Michael Rappaport. That's too much money to and be. And then doing he comes that. back and do this with Shannon Sharp. Like I don't know. He just he just Twitter fingers, bro. Twitter fingers, like you know, getting too getting too hype in that in the DM and DMs. Crazy, crazy. Can't need a hobby. You know, you, who 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 ever would have thought that? Who he does have a hobby. He does. Whoever oh, no, would have thought his, that's his that? Job. That's his job. No, that's a hot. No, the way he plays, that's a hobby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who, whoever would have thought that a dry scalp would cause this much? Mental trauma. Oh. Uh, Web, it's on oh, you. Oh. you Get him a brush. Get him a brush. Or a barber. Get him a brush and a barber. Brush and a barber. Um, and, and the double do. And the double do. Yo, so, so, um, so, guys, we, we, we've all been kind of hearing the news about COVID nineteen vaccines. Um, we heard about what's going on. So, like J and J Johnson and Johnson. We know that they had their little incident with the Philadelphia thing where they lost millions of vaccines. We know that. Now we're hearing about these like one in a million kind of a side effect of like these rare blood clots that are happening that predominantly happen amongst women, young women. Um, And so because of that, the FDA paused, you know, administration of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine which for the most part will slow administration, but it may not cost too much. It just means that the other manufacturers have to ramp up their, their, their production of it. So we're, we're seeing a J and J vaccine pause on administration. And then we're, they're talking about people who get vaccinated might need to get another booster within six to 12 months because the current 
what you have may not protect you longer than six months. So uh, my question is, one, are you shook and why <laughs> for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? And the second question is, what's the point? That The, the, the point detrimental question is, what's the point of getting vaccinated if I got to come back in six to 12 months and get it again? So two questions. Are you shook for J&J? And what's the point for the for vac- vaccinating o- overall? Dom and, and Webb, y'all want to you want to jump on that one first? Or? Yeah, 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 Hugh. Sir. My bad, Hugh. I be confusing y'all. Y'all look alike. I don't. Don't you ever I disrespect have, my family. Don't you disrespect my family. That's racist! <laughs> you so racist. I can't really call it because you know what? But I just said. <laughs> my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, dog. You first. Um, no. Nah, so, for, so for the for, so for the Johnson and Johnson. Um, yeah, I'm I'm shook it's because you just don't want to be that that one and one whatever. You know what I mean? You just don't want to be that one and one whatever. And what was your second question again? My bad. And then now, like getting the vaccine, get, get getting anyone any of the, the two dose vaccines. But uh-huh. then having to come back and get a third, six oh, to twelve months. Yeah, there's like no point. Like that's that's why I'm like reluctant to get it. I mean, I will, but I just don't know when. But it's coming, I guess. <laughs> what about you? I mean, listen, I, I I'm already fully vaccinated with the with the Pfizer joint. So if they tell me I gotta come back in another six months, I'm gonna look at y'all like, eh? come on, man. Like, but you're gonna have again, to. I know, but it's crazy. But you know, it's crazy though that you got to think about it in this life and time. That like now, this is going to be added on to the many other shots that we already have to take as Americans in this world. On our health, on I our forgot health. you got vaccinated. Did, did you get sick after the second one? Nah, I was straight. Chill. Okay, shout, him, out, shout out to him. your immune system. I respect that. You know, listen, listen, listen. listen. The, the, the bush roots. <laughs> <laughs> Put some room on it. You know what? On the chest. Rub it on the chest. Put some rum on it. One hundred percent. No, Webb. You know what? I'm I'm curious. I'm I'm. It's, I find it interesting that you ask this question, and then the energy behind how you ask the question. I'm really interested to hear what you think, because we've had a lot of debates already just about the vaccine, and you you kind of already know what side I stand on, and. Yeah. I was pretty certain of what side you stood on as far as the vaccine too. So, you well, know, I mean, hold on, hold on. You know, so like, I am surprisingly initially when I, when you read the headline, I was like, Oh wow, that's kind of crazy. But the third vaccine, that's crazy. Like the third shot, that's kind of crazy. The, the, the yearly shot is not as crazy because somebody broke it down to me like you get a yearly flu shot too, right? That, so that makes it not as crazy for that. But if it's three shots a year, that's wild and crazy. I, I, don't, I don't know the specifics on that. The Johnson & Johnson, it is one in a couple million. But yeah, I don't want to be that one, bro. But again, I, I need to see the statistics on there's, there must be people out there who are maybe one in a million who have adverse effects to a lot of different vaccines right or wrong you know so i think it's easy to be startled by it i still feel how i feel about the vaccine and we're not gonna get into that that's not the power for that but as far as this new information is concerned it's pretty crazy. yeah so like I don't know. so what like i think well so and and just so i'm not confusing folks you wouldn't need to get three shots a year it would be that additional but it, it's just thinking in my mind they're saying for some folks, some people might have immunity for only like a maximum immunity for up to six months, which at that point you can decide to booster yourself, you get, get get a booster shot or whatever it is. And then every year, just like the flu shot, whatever it is. But for my thing is, is like, um, and it's, it's been on my mind for a while because my wife is pregnant. Right. And, you know, pregnant women, People with it with compromised immune systems, um, it's, you got to be very mindful of how you navigate this 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 health this healthcare decision. And so for me, man, it's like, yeah, absolutely, I'm going to get vaccinated, but um, you know that, that doesn't mean you can put your, let your guard down. I do think you get vaccinated, you can just be out here oh, wilding and, and partying in Miami yeah. and shit, right? Right. And that's not the case. That's part of it. Again, 
if anybody feels any symptoms, just call me. I'll I'll, cont- I'll get you in touch with my grandmother for the bush and the roots. So if you need anything, you know, <laughs> just build, build, build up that stamina, bro, and that and immune system. You be sure. All right, trust me. All right, look, I'm good. What, what else is going on, Web? Yeah, man. So um, the Biden administration, the Biden administration has um, officially announced, which I personally find that we it's weird that we have to do that, like telling countries when we're leaving. Like we're taking our troops away, like all public. It's, it seems kind of odd to me, right? But um, they will be withdrawing, um, officially withdrawing twenty five hundred U.S. troops, and then subsequently after that, seven thousand foreign forces as well, out of Afghanistan, which might leave a vacuum, is what they were saying, which is what happened, um, you know, in different parts of the you know Middle East where ISIS kind of formulated. That's what they call that vacuum or whatever. So they're afraid that that might happen. Um, and they're set to do that um, 20 years since um, September 11th. So um, I'm surprised we're still out there, bro. It was supposed to happen in May. It was supposed to happen in May. But I think the Biden and, and, and so the May date was the May Trump administration. 2000, I'm surprised we're still out there in 2021. I'm not. Just, uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not, I, I'm not yeah, surprised. I, I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm with LD on that. Because of everything that's going on in the world, I am not surprised. Right? And everything that happens in the world is happening literally in the Middle East. Like you said, ISIS, we had Saddam Hussein, we then had uh, what's it called? Bin Laden, and all of that is in that area. Not to say it's the people. Don't get me wrong. It's not the people. It's just certain people that have that whole radical mindset to take over, to do things, to get a point across. Because I've, wa- I've, wa- I've been watching some like some documentaries, too. Not the ones that Web was speaking about. How, how, you, how you pronounce those documentaries? Those, those whatever documentaries. Sturdy, sturdy, yeah, sturdy. No, I watch those things. I, I watch some documentaries. <laughs> just look at it, like, <laughs> like if you pull like a, a website, well, I got to be public to pull it up. Like everything is public. The world is so much so. It's been that way for years. You have to like let let people know when you're moving out, so you have you have like a safe passage to get you home. Because if something happens, then they're just gonna stay there, and then back to round two. You don't want to sneak out because then, the, then the enemy might think that you're trying to creep up on them in some type of way. It's, it's a whole bunch of other things I don't want to get too deep in, but it's just crazy that we are still out there. But it's for the safety of us and them, basically. Well, I don't know where the time went. Any other thoughts? Yeah, I mean, just to wrap that up, man, is just um try to find ways to catch your news in small bursts. Maybe watch a sturdy documentary every once in a while, and um. You know, then watch the Teletubbies with your kids. I don't freaking know. But stay happy, folks. Shout out to Sturdy Documentary. I don't want to, like, I don't want to title the episode Sturdy Documentary, but I feel like I have, like, I feel like we have to. I don't, I feel like, what the hell is a Sturdy Documentary? I can't see it around it at this point. (laughs) I can't be crazy. All right, let's, let's, let's get, let's, let's get into it. Let's, it's on you, Hugh. Did you do that somewhere, or was that off top? Like, off top. The most, the most, it ran across my brain. The word sturdy and documentary, and I was like, you know, you know what? If you want, I, I can give you a definition. A sturdy documentary is something that is probably longer than an hour, two hours, right? Right. Um, and <laughs> is all facts, all facts, no fluff. Is there any such thing as an all facts? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some documentaries. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes there are. Shout out to sturdy. I like, I like, I like, I enjoy a sturdy documentary. I do. So I'm not even going to argue with you. You know what? I, Q, you know what? Go ahead. You know, just just to end that, I seen a sturdy documentary. I took a, a Chinese religion class. Deep stuff. You don't want to watch China. deep stuff. But yeah, <laughs> to to move on that. <laughs> don't know how you move on that, but we got to. <laughs> People, yeah. it's your guy Hugh L. Jones again here. You can see it. You can see it. I got a fresh cut. That means, you know, the forehead is shining. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> shots to you. I was shots to shots me. To I mean, so listen, I got to. Me and my, me and my, me and my cousin, twice the room, Stephen A., you know, we're we going to link up one day as soon as he answers my damn about this, the questions about KD and his detrimental activities. But um, the league, it's been, it, 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 it's been buzzing in the league. All right? Buzzing. I mean, buzzing. Buzzing. First, the, my fault, right? <laughs> now nah, you know I like, I, like, I like when you do that. You know, the, I told you, bro. The, the when the cap comes to harmonize, bro, like it's like a symbol of the pot. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. But yeah, like the yeah, yeah, like Jamal Murray. Yeah, yeah. yeah Suffers yeah. a torn ACL in a game. Like, dumb. First, first thing I want to say, we need recovery to that young man because that right there is one of those NBA talents. Yeah, absolutely. That we need to see, we need in the league, and should be. Uh, NBA champion one of these years because the way he played with that team is amazing, mm-hmm. and I I, I I don't know what to say because one of those things is like one of you can come back, but it's like you're not gonna be the same. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you know that time when Webb D got kicked, you know, in the in the calf, he came back, but I don't think he was ever the same. Shouts out yeah. to Danger. Shouts out to Danger. But like. Anybody has any comments? Because I know like things like that. I've never had any kind of injuries like that where I had to. Yeah. Yo, so you know, that injury, it, it, it's a very serious injury. But just like uh, just like Hugh was saying, yo, he was so nice as a basketball player. Like, he came, like he's from Canada. Uh, he went to Kentucky. And, you know, you, you just saw his talent just grow over there. And he plays like he has, he has like street ball in him. So, like, he'll cross you up, like, do, do like different moves. Now, if you want to see him at his best, I feel like was in the bubble last year in the playoffs when he was going at it from round one, bringing his team back 3-1, 3-1. Every round he brought his team back. Okay, 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 okay. We get it. We get it. I was going to but no. You had to bring up the 3-1 right next to me like that, bro. Like, I felt it. I felt the shot there. Okay, all right. It wasn't even on purpose. You know? But, yeah. But, no, it's just not. He just has he has a heart of a lion, so. And get well soon. Get well yeah, soon. Well, oh, quick question. Quick question. His play style. He's explosive. He can sh- he can shoot, but he's not. He he can't shoot consistently. Yeah, he the way can. That, like you. I mean, well, so like not 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 like a a staff or a or a clay consistent. He can he can shoot it, nah. but he's not like a, a green yeah, light. I'm nah. giving you a green light. He's not getting green light kind of. Consistent. Oh yeah, no no no. He do you think? Do you think? Do you think? When he comes back, he'll be the same player. Because ACLs, everybody's different. A- a- ACLs right. are tough, man. Right. I want to say everyone is different, and it's twenty twenty one. They'll figure it out. He'll be shout back. out to science. I mean, I'm t- basically see basically. see see my my statement to that question is Webb. He'll come back, and when I mean he'll come back, he'll come back better than he was before. You got to think about it now. I ain't gonna say all that. No, no, you want to. He has a bionic leg, leg, maybe, but. Listen, listen, listen. It's a, it's a torn ACL. That can be repaired. A lot of players came back from a torn ACL. Now, what you were saying about his shot now, why I say he'll come back a better player, he's 24 years old. He'll heal. Now, he's not a consistent shooter, but in the NBA, with that time off to get your shot up, he yeah. will come back a better player and a better point guard. With the team that he already has, like, he doesn't even he have better. to do much. He wouldn't have to do much at all because yeah. he got Nurkic out there. He does he what better. he needs to do. He will. I think he will. Twenty four years old coming back. Listen, listen. What else is going on, Hugh? A lot. I mean, public agenda. A lot of things. Shout out to Dwayne Wade. First off, black black excellence right there. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Dwayne Wade is my journey mm-hmm. ownership stake in the Utah Jazz. Right, and that is big for one of two reasons. Because you know he will be involved now. What I what I've learned that he'll be involved in this. And helping out with the organization, which is good because you know that, that organization, as talented as they are, you can use a Hall of Famer like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. So with that deal, um, I don't. I don't respect his earring. I don't respect his earring. I mean, Jordan had an earring. <laughs> Jordan had an earring. Not like that. But I think it's a good like first it. step. I, like I think it's a good first step, and he feels like this is the way he's going to go in his in the second act. He calls it. So, and I believe it's going to work out well for him. Um, and I think other players are going to see that and think, oh, I can do that too. So, and I and I think that, yeah, so, you know, hopefully it's like that and we can get the NBA to where it needs to be. But it's already in a good place. Clock is taking crazy right now. Yeah. yeah. Yo, uh, so, what, what, what about you? What would you think about it? I mean, for, for this D-Wade thing, I, I, I mean, my comment is going to be a shot at the NFL. This is why the NBA is better than the NFL. You know what I'm saying because you got, I mean, Dwayne Wade is how many years removed from his retirement? Two, three years, maybe. Yeah, about two, three years. Yeah. Two, and, and he's already, you know, 
financially able. A player, not mind you, not every player in the NBA is going to be like a Dwayne Wade, but I feel like in the NBA, when you're managed the way that Dwayne Wade has managed his funds and his career to come out two years out and be able to buy a minority stake into a multi-billion dollar team. I mean, that's freaking awesome. I don't know if any NFL players are doing that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, or, not or, that or, we know. Or, yeah, no. or if they're invited to do that. <laughs> that you know part. What I'm that part. All right. All right. Uh, you got to think so, about it. Yo. Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, many thought that he was actually going to take stakeholdership in the heat. The heat. Which is it's just not, you know, that's no, surprising. Like, that probably is hella money, though. Like, it's a yeah. major city like Miami versus. Major franchise. I mean. Utah. Yep. Yeah, versus uh, Utah. Yep. Miami yep. versus Utah. That's a different number. Miami number. Yeah, Miami. He'd probably get a lot more percentage of the team out there than he can in Miami. Yeah. That's yeah. just my guess. Yeah. I mean, well, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, Utah is a small market. It's a small it market. It is. It really is. It just is starting to become a bigger market because the team is starting to look like the Utah Oak. That's what they're trying to look. They're trying to build that back up. But Dwayne Wade said he, had, he still has love for the Heat organization, but right now he's just focusing on. The next phase of his life to be an investor, a businessman, and an entrepreneur for for himself, which is you know that's that's that I can't can't knock somebody for that and do that. I mean, if the Heat wanted to, right, you know, if the, if he also wanted to take you know some little stake in us, you know, help us out, throw some money our way, you know, the pod is here for that. I want that, you know, help us, you know, give us an interview. Listen, I'll interview the way. What would be way to interview? I, I would definitely do research. Cap, Cap, I know Cap's first question. What's with Eric? Take it <laughs> out. I don't like it. Go ahead, you. Imagine telling him that. <laughs> oh, man. oh yeah. also the shout out. You know, Michael Jordan will be inducting Kobe Bryant in the NBA in the NBA 2020 Hall of Fame this year. Right. <laughs> it's only right. There's there's nobody else that could that should or. Would. Should, nobody, other than Magic Johnson, I would understand because Magic's been around the Lakers organization for years. But in terms of mm-hmm. like, Kobe, it, it doesn't nah, make sense. It makes sense. It is Jordan. It does. I mean, like, you know, because that, that's that's amazing, right there. No, it is. Um, yo, listen, Jordan is the perfect person to to do that because Jordan and Kobe were so similar. Um, Kobe copied Jordan and everything he did. You know, you could tell by the way he moved on the court, you know, by the way he carried himself off the court and all of that. So it was just – so, you know, I think Jordan was the perfect person for this. Not even on some because I think Kobe is the best player because I do. But that's just me. That's a personal fan. Yeah. 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 Better than LeBron. That, but I think Jordan should uh, – uh, I don't know. Uh, Say better than LeBron. So, uh, anybody else? Skill wise, skill wise, better than LeBron. All around. Uh, any no, other, anybody, I think I think I think it's only right. Anybody, anybody else? I like any, it. Love it. Come to shout out to my uh, shout out to Springfield, Massachusetts basketball hall of fame. You know I mean? Right. So uh, I used to work here, and I'm from yeah, here. Quick, so quick question. Quick shout question. out to me. Thank quick you. Question, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to Cap. Quick question for our guest. <laughs> shout out to me. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, quick nothing. question for our guest. My last, my last thing. You know, quick question for you guys. Dead or alive, who would you want to induct you into the Hall of Fame? Just any Hall of Fame. Who would you want, dead or alive? Celebrity, somebody you probably know, or just like you know, just off the top, just off the top. Because I, 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 you know, that's why I wait. I saved this for the pod because I know that y'all was gonna think about it. Just, who would I want to induct me into the Hall of Fame? It don't gotta be. It don't gotta be solidified like this is the president. Give it. You know, oh. this can be. Oh, oh, ah, <laughs> oh, ah. That's a good answer. Hall of Fame, dang! I don't even know, bro. That's why I said dead or alive. Give you a chance. Give you a chance to give somebody. De- oh, dead or alive? Oh, alive. Oh, um, dead or alive. That's still that's still a difficult one. Well, I'm trying to think which Hall of I'm trying to think which Hall of Fame I belong in. I'm out here in so many categories. Yeah, yeah I, don't I mean, that's how I was feeling. So like, Simmer down. down. <laughs> like I, I'm out. I'll, 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 just for the sake of moving the conversation forward for now, even though it don't, it don't make sense, I don't play basketball. I want Shaq to induct me to the Hall of Fame. I like Shaq. I like that. I like that. No, that's a good like answer. That. That. Well, that'd be funny cool. though. Just, just say Shaq. Um, uh, I would ask Bill Belichick. To induct me into the Hall of Fame. 
the greatest coach of ever. Let's move on, bro. Better He's on like, his own Mount like, Rushmore. Like, he is the Mount Rushmore. He's the rock. I would, I would ask. No, 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 no. It's on, dead or alive. I would ask Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Bernie. Oh, okay. I respect that. Bernie Mac. But yeah. Just to end, end, end off the pod. Shout out to two, two young, two young superstars, or because they're thirty-five or thirty. Oh, I forget how old Julian Edelman is. Sorry again, folks. I have thirty-four. Julian Edelman is thirty-four, and. Lamarcus Aldridge is 35. They are both are retiring this year. Both are both are respected athletes in there in both respected sports. Julius Edelman. Oh, I just want to make it clear that this is for Lamarcus Aldridge. Yes, yes. Oh, you're hating. And I want to make it clear that this is for Julian Edelman. Patriots Nation. I just want to make it clear. <laughs> Patriots Nation. Send... I just want to make it clear. I'm not applauding oh, yeah. for both of them at all. I just want to make it clear. Feel Put me? some respect on Julian. I mean, Never. Okay. Right, let me, let me you all saw the catch in oh, the God. Super Bowl. Shut up. You saw I'm that sorry. Catch. Sorry. I mean, I'm mean, sorry. I mean, no, we don't want to hear about the catch. We don't want to hear about. It was better than Patriots. David Tyree, and I'm a, and and like that 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 catch hurt. It hurt. All right, let me put a little, let me put a little sprinkle on this for 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 Webb and his man. Julian Edelman is retiring with three Super Bowl rings, a Super Bowl MVP for the New New England Patriots. That is Hall of Fame. As I can say, I, I can give it that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not his bad people. He's doing that on purpose. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a Titans fan. Never knows what it feels like to win. It's fine. He's been, he's been on the Patriots. What is a win, Mylon? Let me finish. Yo. Let, me, let me finish. I have no biz. idea. Let me finish out <laughs> your biz out. He was been with the Patriots since 2009, retired in 2020. He has over six over 6,000 receiving yards, 36 touchdowns. And I mean, I gotta put respect on it. And Lamarcus Aldridge, I, I I hate to see, hate to see it, cause you know why? He was just on the on the, on the Nets. He could have got a ring. Yeah, no, he was tough, man. You know, he got a, you know, his mid range was crazy at the time when you know when, when the bigs had to have a mid range. He was like the top dog. Like you couldn't stop him. He had moves. He had handle too for a big dude. So he get to the, the bucket. block was his. Yep, and, and he had good footwork. Like it was, yeah, he was he, he was nice. He's a Myron seven don't time. know what the left block is. He and, I don't. And Cap has no forward. And that, and that yeah. fade away? And Cap has no forward. He did. I said Cap don't have no forward. Oh, you said Cap. Oh, Cap. Okay. Okay. Well, Lamar- uh, <laughs> <my bad. laughs> I mean, you throw, you throw on some, you throw on some old school. You might see Cap bop a little bit. I respect that though. But Lamarcus Aldridge is pepping my step when I write song. Come on, <laughs> Lamarcus Aldridge is a seven-time All Star, two-time Second Team, two-time All, three-time All NBA Third Team Heat, first team Rookie of the Year. He, the list goes on about this man. I respect everything that he did, and you know, hate to see him go, especially so early in the in the season. But you know, got a shout out to both those superstars, and just like that, Cap, play my theme music. Okay, oh, hey. well. We're very close to time. I think I think we're cool to skip the timeline for the most part. Most important thing on the timeline is uh, J-Lo is single again. Oh, no. Uh, that that's the only thing I wanted to comment on on the timeline. <laughs> that part. That, that part, part J-Lo. J-Lo is the only woman that I can confidently remark on on the pod because my wife is already familiar with my crush, so it's okay. We might she have knows to I had a poster. She knows I had a poster in college. She saw the pictures. So okay. Jayla was my screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> Jayla was your screensaver. <laughs> um, but yeah, her and A Rod split up right at the time where A Rod becoming part owner, fully not full owner, obviously, right? No, part, um, part, part owner of the Minnesota Triple Wolf. So shout out to him. But she obviously yeah. don't need the money or care about the money. Like, if he was full owner, he, he got. She said. She said her love don't cost a thing, bro. That's what she said to him. That was a quality harmony. I'm not even. I was waiting for like the crack. Jenny in the block, yo. You did a pretty good job. You held that note, bro. Like, I mean, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I got you. Don't ever, don't you ever. (laughs) I've been practicing. I gave you the air horns, bro. It was good. I gave, I gave the air horns. I've been. So I think we gotta get up out of here, man. 
you know, nothing else is super duper important. We want to hold y'all too long. We do hope y'all enjoyed the show, you know, just, you know, found a sense of, again, a, a, a piece of positivity in your week. We do not know what this next week coming up will hold for us just yet, but we do hope that we are a highlight of that for you. Quoted a pod. I didn't necessarily come prepared. Quarter of the pod is share and subscribe, like, comment to the Detrimental Podcast everywhere you go, everywhere you are. Uh, that's the quarter of the pod. Message. Share and subscribe. Uh, that's a message. message. That's also Detrimental. Like. It didn't come with an actual crime. Comment. I message. I had a lot of other things to do. So I share, comment, though, subscribe. You know? Message. Like. Okay, hold on. Message. Follow. Message. Copy, paste. Oh, okay, okay, message. Okay. All right. All that. That's what they do on the YouTube videos, right? They point at something. I'm going to try to put something right there. It's going to look stupid. At point. But anyways. Yeah, man. Out, bro. I already told them what to do, but I mean, if you want to tell them a little more kindly mm-hmm. than I did, Webb, you can tell them what they're supposed to do. Nah, you already told them what to do, but you know, I'll, I'll say this, man. Like, DM us, folks. Interact with us. You know, um, hit us up on the story. Share our stories. Ask us questions, man. Yo. Tell us what you want us to talk about on the pod. That'll be cool. Yo, Web, thank you for telling people that. Yeah, this was it. Yo, next week we got we to do something special for the fans, bro. I might have to think. I might have some ideas. Hear that, fans? Think of it. Oh. Everybody, go buy Ghost of Tsushima. It's dope. I think it's like $40 on the, on the PlayStation Network. I've been trying about. to tell you, bro. It's dope. The graphics are freaking can, beautiful. I'm about to see if I can get on there and... I I'm gotta go. I, I gotta go rake the front yard first. <laughs> I, I gotta, gotta I got work tomorrow, I, but I, I, I might. I'm. I, I, but I have I'm a sorry. small honey do list. I gotta get through. I'm, I might be on Go to Shushima if she's not on Crash Bandicoot. So it's basically on PlayStation. Give, give so. Give, give, give <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, people. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh-huh. Catch you on the flip. Podcast. 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 Put your little fade on. Hear that?